Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Delve. Today we're starting on a new challenge, one that'll hopefully improve my understanding of 3D. Well, at least in Game Maker. The plan for this project is pretty simple. Create the basics of a voxel-based 3D game, similar to Minecraft. This includes the placement and destruction of blocks as well as emulating basic properties, such as block gravity. Again, the point of this challenge is to create the basics, so I don't plan on doing a one-to-one -one recreation of Minecraft, but who knows, if this challenge goes well, maybe I'll do more than just the basics. But we've got a ton on our plate for now, so let's stop talking and get to the coding. Alright, so uh, actually, <laughs> in uh, preparation for this challenge, you know, when I was setting up like the textures and everything, I, uh, I didn't trust my math going into this, so I, I did a bit of pre pre work you know to get the math done and i actually kind of uh did more than i uh, anticipated so i am sort of starting with a boost here but uh, i'll show you go ahead and show you guys what we're uh, currently working with we've got a nice little floor here uh, there's no boundaries or anything whatever nice fog we're not going to be using lighting i tried to set up lighting beforehand just so you know i wouldn't waste time on it but uh, unfortunately i couldn't i don't know for some reason the lighting in game maker is really weird so i don't know maybe i just didn't understand the way that it should work but uh yeah so yeah uh the math i was talking about is the grid based movement here for block placement but uh, yeah as you can see there are 3d block oh i didn't make that one solid okay i gotta make that one solid good to note but uh yeah they're uh, solid blocks can't walk through them yeah all right so i'm gonna do everything based on states I think that's gonna be the best way to handle all the functionality that we need i just love the switch function man it's it's just it's just the best it really is it's so convenient so i just realized that we're gonna need the placement block at all times so that we know which blocks we're affecting so cursor creates so if we right click and then we're gonna have everything based in states so right click is obviously block placement. All right, now that I'm thinking about it, this might get a little bit complicated, but we'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll take it one step at a time. So we create a grass block. Actually, we're gonna need to set up this check before we do anything anyway. So if cursor, actually this is making it more complicated than it needs to be. We'll just do this. We'll just check to make sure that can place is possible. And if it is, uh, then we can place the block. So let's open up our target. Let's see if we can just use uh, Game Maker's built-in collision. Save us some trouble. All right, so we're checking for the XY positioning of our target versus a wall object, which is uh, a solid, which we don't want to be able to build a block within. Okay, so since everything is grid-based, if we are collided with a wall object, uh, if our Z does not equal... Uh, the other block Z, which means that we can place a block, I think, is what we're checking for. So, can place. Yes, that should work. So, we'll, so we'll default in first state, so we should be able to create a grass block if we right-click and we're not within another block. Boom. Ah! I created that in the wrong place. Haha, -ha, I knew that. Shh. We need to actually we need to actually spawn the the blocks on the cursor not the player <laughs> okay let's try that again boom Ooh. hmm interesting cannot place that there Ooh. okay interesting whoa oh uh, what the heck hey ho what's happening here all right so the uh z-axis is fine well, we're going to have to go ahead and keep track of our cursor movement. Oh, good lord. Oh, we need to round those. No wonder we're getting some kind of weird positioning code. Okay. All right. Let's see if I math correctly this time. Yes. Okay. Now it's proper. No. What the hell is that? Why is it three? It's supposed to be. What is happening? It's Is it doing eights? It shouldn't be doing eights. It should be 16. 6, 16. It should be 16s. What the hell is this? What is 11 and 16? What the bananas? Okay, never, never mind out here. It's okay. Anyway. Okay, why doesn't that work? Okay, I think I know what's happening. So I think we need to do a general step check. 
The thing is getting hung up on when it places the first block. Or not. Ah, uh, kind of. Ah, that's weird. So I'm having trouble placing blocks right next to each other. 480, 176. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So I'm getting some weird behavior because my XY is off. So let's see. All right, so I, I, I get what's happening now. So the, the positioning of the, the target area, the, the cursor here in front of us, it behaves differently based on where I'm looking. So because it's not working on an actual 16 by 16 grid, and we're getting those weird numbers that don't uh, amount to a 16 by 16 uh, math, if you will, like it, it, as you can see there, they're like clipping into each other. That's why we're getting some weird behavior. So if I look away, boom, we get a weird number. But if I look back and then I move, it stays 16 by 16. So I'm going to have to go ahead and figure out the math off video for my look direction. So really, that's fine for now. We just have to be, be, be very, very careful about our block placement. So at the very least, we've got basic block placement done. So we can uh, go ahead and uh, block... We can define the Z for the block. So block Z will equal our cursor Z. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, check that. So boom, in the air. Okay, uh, yeah, I know that's not possible like in you know, Minecraft, but uh, bear with me. Let's just add an extra conditional here. Z equals zero. Okay, go back to collisions. Okay, so if a Z equals other, then we cannot place. So now we're going to check if Z does not equal the current wall that we're colliding with, or the block in this case. Yeah, so that should mean that if we are above a block, we should be able to place on top of the block, but we cannot place a block in the air. I hope. Nope. All right, let's debug this. Can place? That should be a zero. That question mark? Yeah, it should be a zero. I guess it would make sense that I would need to also define can place equals zero. Whoa, hello. No. Oh, my bad. Zero. Okay. So I can place, cannot place. Okay, can place. Can place. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that. Jesus. That was on me. I got totally caught up over uh, overthought that situation there. <sighs> okay, so obviously in Minecraft... You can place a block on the side. So we need to check for that now. Gosh dang it, how are we gonna do that? Wonder if we can just do place free. I have no idea. I don't think that's gonna work. I feel like we're getting into match three territory again here. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. That's interesting. Let's do empty. Maybe place empty is uh, what we need. No, why is it allowing me to place in the sky? You have strict directions to not allow that to happen. But well, we can do that, so... Mm. Okay, let's just try to simplify this a bit here. Else, if x is greater than zero... Okay. Okay, so we simplified it. So if x does not meet a wall, and a z equals zero, then we can place it at any time, any place, because it's on the floor. Else, if these uh, z, this should, this should be z, not x, a z, if z is uh, greater than zero, then we do a check. Let's see what that does. I don't know. Nope, we can still place in the air. Why? God, this cursor thing is seriously messing me up. It's so annoying. I hate math. The main trouble here is not even necessarily that this is hard. The trouble is really trying to wrestle with the way that game maker handles collisions okay so we're back to that but see now we're at zero now we're at zero but the, for some reason if i go back here what the hell that doesn't even make any sense maybe we just need to add the conditional can place equals zero here okay it's zero so if he's uh uh huh Okay, that's what was wrong. We just had to do the, the zero, and it works. Okay, yeah. So I'm obviously going to have to come back 
when my cursor is actually working properly so we can properly debug this if there are any other issues but for now that is working good <sighs> i am so annoyed that that took as long as it did just so annoyed it's basic basic code but it's just you never know sometimes Okay, so I had to re-record this outro simply due to the fact that two minutes after ending the recording for this session, I realized that the cursor issues was pretty much due to the fact that I overmathed. Long story short, I got to precise with the math, which was the root of all our problems. So, yeah. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode of Let's Dev, so if you like this video or enjoy Let's Dev in general, be sure to hit that like button. If you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when new episodes go live. And as always, be sure to leave your thoughts on our progress in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.